بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی السر و لاد و السر و تمیم بالحیر ربی زدن علماء السلام علیکم This is the updated 7th edition of book D3 and today we will do exercise 10B from and question number 4 and 5. Let's start students. Here is question number 4. In each diagram identify a pair of similar triangle and prove that, that they are similar. We have to identify the pair of the similar triangle and then prove that the triangle are similar. You know that to prove the triangle are similar, there are the three tests. First one is angle-angle similarity test. Second one is side-side similarity test. And third one is side-angle side similarity test. We have to prove this triangle that these triangles are similar by these by applying these tests. Which test is applicable? and then it's proof we can see that the c in this this triangle is abc and this triangle is dce these two triangles are similar and the c is equivalent to c and a is equivalent to e And B is equivalent to D. We can see that the angle is A, C, B and angle D, C, E. This angle. This angle is equal because the angle is vertically opposite angle this angle is vertically opposite angle and that's why this angle is equal and so we write there angle ACB is equal to angle DCE now the angle A, B, C is equivalent to angle C, D, E. This is the alternate angle. Alternate angle are those angle if their lines are parallel and it cuts then this angle is equal to the, this angle and these angles are called alternate angle. And the same situation is applied on it that these two lines are parallel and the line cut it. it. This angle is equal to this angle and this is equal to uh, alternate angle. We can mention it vertical opposite angle that's why they are equal and this angle is ABC is equal to a d e and this angle is alternate angles hence a proof that the both triangles are equal and these are equal by the test of angle angle similarity test a b c is similar is similar to triangle D E D C because of which test angle angle similarity test and now students the part number one is solved now students B part I is equivalent to I and J is equivalent to F and H is equivalent to G. Now students we can see that the triangle now students we see that the angle IJH is equal to the angle IFG because these are the corresponding angles these two lines are parallel and these and the angle along these parallel lines these angles 
are corresponding angles and now these angles are equal so we can write ijh is equal to ifg because this is the corresponding angles jh is equal to fg jh is parallel to fg that's why these are the corresponding angle and one angle is common angle and that angle is i i j i h is equal to f i g this is common angle therefore the triangle i j h is similar to triangle i f g because of which test angle angle similarity test angle angle similarity test and now students see part number b is solved now students part number c r is equivalent to r and q is equivalent to s and p is equivalent to t and now the sides are given to us and one angle this angle three sides are not given to us only two sides are given to us and one angle and this angle is p r q and s q r this angles are equal because this is vertically opposite angle p r q is equal to s r t because this is the vertical opposite angle now students we have to find the ratios of the uh, side of this triangle pr over tr 3 over 6 and we get 0.5 and qr over rs 4 over 8 and this is the point Therefore, the triangle PQR is similar to triangle RST. And because of which test these are similar? Side angle, side similarity test and now students uh, the question C part is solved now students part number D U is equivalent to U and uh, V is equivalent to X and W is equivalent to Y now the angle is common angle x u y is equal to v u w this angle is in both triangle and this is the common angle and now the sides the side of these triangles are given to us now we have to find the ratio the u v over u x ux u is 8 and ux is 8 plus 4 8 by 12 and we get it by simplifying it we get 2 by 3 and now the other side is 
यू डब्ल्यू ओवर यू वाई दिस इज इट टेन ओवर टेन प्लस फाइव टेन बाई फिफ्टीन एंड वी गेट टू बाई थ्री दे फोर द ट्राइंगल यू वी डब्ल्यू इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल U X Y and why they are similar? Which test is applied on it? Is side angle side similarity test? And now students say uh, the part number D is solved and question number uh, four is done. Now, students, question number five. In each of the following figure, identify the similar triangles and find the value of x and y. All length are given in centimeter. This is a triangle, and we have to find the value of x and y. And the lengths which are given in this uh, figure, it is in centimeters. Now we have to find the length of the this side and this side. And First, we have to prove that the triangle are similar to one another. Then we find the values of x and y. You know that a is equivalent to a and b is equivalent to d and c is equivalent to e. This one and the corresponding angles, angle a, angle a, c, b. This an angle A E D. These are the corresponding angles because the lines are parallel. So we can write there A C B is equivalent to A E D. These are the corresponding angles because of B C is parallel to de now this one this is a common angle this angle is common and we can write ead is equal to cab this is the common angle Hence proved that the triangle A B C A is similar to A E D because of which test angle angle similarity test. If these two tri if these two triangles are similar, then it's proved that the ratios of their sides are also equal to, uh, that the ratios of the side of the triangle are also equal. So we can write there PC. This is BC and over DE is equal to AC. This is AC over. A E. You we can see that the B C is equal to X, so we can write there X. And D E this is D E is equal to twelve. A C is equal to twelve, and A E is equal to twelve plus four. Now X. Twelve multiply by twelve and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This one is sixteen. Now we have to cross multiply it. Now we and by solving it we get the answer nine centimeter. 
and this is the answer of x x is 9 centimeter now we have to y and we can take the values in which the y is, y is present and now ab is equivalent to ab ratio ab over ad is equivalent to this is AC over AE. AB is Y and AD is Y plus 6. AC is 12 and this is 12 plus 4, 16. Now we have to multiply 12 Y plus 6 and 16 multiply by Y. Cross multiply, cross multiply by 8. And we get... Uh, Now students say 16y and this is 12y, 12 multiplied by 6 we get 72, 16, 4 minus 12y is equal to 72, 4y and 72 and y is 72 divided by 4 and uh, by dividing it we get the answer 18 and now student x is equal to 9 centimeter and y is equal to 18 centimeter and this is the answer of part number one now students this is a part number two we can see that the a is equivalent to e and b is equivalent to d and c is equivalent to c and uh, d this is now students we can see that the angle b c e is equal to B C A. B C A is equal to E C D. And this is the common angle. Common angles. And now we can observe that the angle B A B A C that angle B A C is equal to angle C E D and these angles are equal because these are the alternate angles these are the alternate angles alternate angles and when two lines are parallel and it cut by any line and this angle is equal to the this angle these two lines are parallel and it cut by the line and this angle is equal to this angle angle a is equal to the angle e because this is the alternate angles therefore the triangle a b c is similar to triangle C D E because of which test they are equal they are equal to the angle angle similarity test now students we have to write the Now students we have to write the since these are equal since the angles are equal since the triangle are similar therefore we can write that the ratios of their sides are also equal. AC this is the AC this is X and EC is 4 uh, the ratio of the corresponding sides and BC is 6 and DC is Five. Now we have to cross multiply it. 6 multiply by 4 over 5 and uh, we get the answer 4.8 centimeter. Now students we have to find the value of the y 
and we take these ratios DE over BA is equal to DC over BC and DE is Y and AB is 9 DC is 5 and BC is 6 now we have to uh, cross multiply it and 5 multiplied by 9 divided by 6 by calculating it we get the Y 7.5 centimeter now X is 4.8 centimeter and Y is 7.5 centimeter and now students uh, the question is solved now students part number C we can observe that the A is equal to A and uh, B is equal to E and this is given to us that these angles are equal and C is equ equivalent to D now the angle A B C is equal to angle C E D these angles are equal because it is given now students the angle B A C is equal to angle D B angle B A C is equal to angle D A E because this is a common angle hence prove that these two triangles are similar to each other therefore the triangle A B C is similar to triangle A D E because of which test they are similar to each other angle angle similarity test now we have to find the value of x and y uh, the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal that's why we can write there de this is de and bc ratio is equal to ae over ab de is x and bc is 4 AE is 9, B is 3. Now we have to solve it. There we can cross multiply it x 9 multiplied by 4 over 3, 3, 3 times, and 3 multiplied by 4 we get 12 centimeters. Now, students, we have to find the value of the y. And we take the ratio AB. This one over A, AE. This side. This is E over AE. This ratio is equal to this ratio. Because when we have to turn the, visualize it, when we turn the, uh, this triangle, the angles uh, comes there. That's why this side is uh, equal equivalent to that side and that's why we take the ratios of these corresponding sides AB over AE and AC over AD now we have to write the values of it AB is 3 over 9 and this is 6 over 3 plus Y now we have to cross multiply it and 3 multiply by 3 plus y and 9 multiply by 6 we get 54 9 plus 3 y 54 54 minus 9 and we get uh, 45 45 multi divided by 3 15 
centimeter. Now students x is 12 centimeter and y is 15 centimeter. And now students say this, these are the answer of part number C. You know it's solved. Now students part number 4 we have to find the value of x and value of y. Now students when we have to find the value of x we have to prove that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle AEF. And when we have to find the value of y we have to prove first we have to prove that the triangle ACD is similar to triangle AFG. Now students angle ये A is equivalent to A and B is equivalent to E and C is equivalent to F and now the angle A B C is equal to angle A E F because these are the corresponding angles of parallel lines BC and EF. Corresponding angles of parallel line BC EF. Now this angle is equal. This is a common angle. BAC is equal to angle EAF. This is common angle hence prove that the triangles are similar to each other because of angle angle similarity test therefore triangle ABC is similar to triangle AEF because of angle angle similarity test and now we have to when these two triangles are similar then the ratio of these corresponding sides are also equal therefore we can write AC over uh, AF this is AC and this is AF and is equal to the ratios of AB over AE. AC is uh, 8 and AF is uh, 8 plus X. This is 10 over 14. Now we have to cross multiply it and we can simplify it. Then the multiplications become uh, uh, simple to 5 times and to 7 times. Now cross multiply it and 8 plus x multiply by 5 and 7 8 times 56 now students by multiplying it x 4 times 40 and this is 5x is equal to 56 5x 56 minus 40 and uh, 5 x by subtracting it we get the 16 x 16 multiply by 5 and by subtracting it we get by dividing it we get the 3.2 centimeter answer uh, in the back of the this book the answer is wrong and this is the accurate answer now since the a is equivalent to a and C is equal to F and D is equal to G. Now the angle ACD is equal to angle AFG because this is the corresponding angles of parallel side CD and FG. And now angle F A G is equal to angle C A D because this is the 
कॉमन एंगल देफोर द ट्राइंगल ए सी डी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल एफ ए जी and when these two triangles are similar then we can write that the ratio of the corresponding sides are also equal so ad this is ad a and the ag the ratio of one side and the ratio of other side ac over af this is the y over y plus 3 8 8 And AF is equal to x plus eight uh, plus x. Now we find the value of x, which is three point two. We have to put the value of x and then cross multiply by it. And this is y eight and y plus three and by eight plus three point two. By adding it, we get. Eight y twenty four, and this is eleven point two. Eleven point two is multiplied by y. We have to cross multiply it, and this is eight y plus twenty four. Now we have to subtract the value, and twenty four. By subtracting it, we get. Uh, Now, so let's see. Twenty-four divided by three point two, three point two, and we get the answer seven point five centimeter. And this is the answer of y. X is three point two centimeter, and y is seven point five centimeter. And now, students, the part number four is solved. I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much, students, for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.